This episode is called it's the Merch Sonic. So Sonic's worst nightmare and my greatest pleasure. Please end the show faster. Ugh, we're not even halfway there yet. And welcome back to Statue Watch. It's a short one this time. There's only one statue and we see it from a very far distance and only a very far distance. The statue appears to be levitating in midair. It's so far away and blurry that there's no facial features or anything at all. The only views I had to even compare to reasonably was 22-2 and 18-4, but even 18 Dash 4 had some details and wasn't far away. It's just a weird smear shot, so I don't know, the statue is weird. Back to the episode. We begin with Robotnik in a submarine. Boasting. How many times has an episode begun with Robotnik bracking? I've lost count. Shame on scratch! Don't lie to me, you heard it too. And knowing what the next episode has makes this 10 times funnier too. So I'll save that for next time. Scratch is ordered to attack Labyrinth Zone, and now I think you know why I chose this as the background music. First Casino Night, now Labyrinth. Huh, I wonder if they'll try to cover all the zones. We cut to some citizens in Labyrinth, predictably fish people with a king and some surfer fish not getting along. We learn that the surfer fish is named, you're not gonna believe this, Surf, is seeing his daughter. Named Bubbles. The king doesn't take it well and is even more upset when he finds out Surf wants to fight against Robotnik thinking that he will never attack, exiling Surf immediately. So Robotnik attacks and floods the place naturally. There's karma for you. Sonic and Tails are out hiking again, presumably peeved that they got robbed last episode, till Sonic gets bored saying he hasn't seen Robotnik for a few days. Yeah, you left him frozen in a lake. Sonic runs into Surf where the latter tells Sonic about Robotnik's attack on Labyrinth Zone. Also for some reason, Sonic isn't happy about Tails telling Surf that he's Sonic. Not sure why that hasn't been an issue before, but okay. The three of them go to Labyrinth Zone by a surf submarine, which is just an elaborate bike. Some of Robotnik's guards, which were just some, some moto fish, though they seem to be a bit deadlier than usual given spears and even homing rockets, show up, though they go down just as easy as all the others though. We cut to Robotnik. Not much happens here, though we do learn a couple things. One, Robotnik abducted Princess Bubbles in the first attack. Second, that he wants Labyrinth Zone captured, not destroyed, as he wants to claim the riches within. Robotnik makes his declaration to the king, either hand over the kingdom or his daughter will be killed. Though, it's a kid show, so they danced around the second point a bit. That's very much implied. The king is prepared to hand over the kingdom too, which means he is absolutely not fit to be a king. But that's aside the point. Sonic and company arrive to talk him out of it, but the king first arrests them for being with Surf. Remember, he was exiled, so it does make sense. A bit silly now with his daughter gone and Robotnik attacking the city, but bygones. Oh hey, look! Bingo time! We actually haven't had any of the characters trapped for a while, unless you count Tails brainwashing or Sonic being tied up. Okay, fine, I let it slip for a few episodes, sue me. Sonic once again throws backhanded insults at Surf, and I'm just confused. Sonic is pretty similar to him personality-wise, so it doesn't line up. He still agrees to help him though, so I don't know, Sonic's character's all over the place in the show. They break out with Sonic pushing Surf around to make it look like he's leading the escape, because someone that is exiled leading a jailbreak is a great look, Sonic. Real nice of you. There's five minutes left until Robotnik's deadline is up, but he's bored, so he decides to attack anyway. Unfortunately, this means selling Scratch to fire. The joke goes exactly where you think it does. Robotnik discovers Sonic is around, so he begins to attack wildly. It doesn't go well for him. There's not much to add for these combat sequences, though Robotnik calls his robots Mr. Scratch and Mr. Grounder multiple times, which is really weird. He's never done that before. The battle ends with Tails dropping some explosive pearls on Robotnik's ship, so uh, he's dead now. Scratch and Grounder too, all three of them sink to the bottom of the sea. The princess is rescued by Surf though, so good for her. Surf is given a promotion to commander of Labyrinth Zone's forces, so I guess he's unexiled. The episode ends with Robotnik and the robots rowing away as an angry Robotnik curses Sonic again. But hey, at least they survived. Somehow. The Sonic says is about shallow water being dangerous to dive in. You'd think Surf would know better, but oh well. Segment is fine. As for the episode itself, it's also fine. I felt a couple elements of this one may have been elements from an older draft that were never ironed out, because otherwise, I just do not understand why they are there. Namely, Sonic seemed to hate Surf at random points. The written humor wasn't very good, but there's a surprising amount of visual gags here. Nothing absolutely hilarious, but enough that I can see some people fondly remembering this one. Until next time, take care, stay safe, have a good one. Bye-bye.